How do you make something like that? Open hardware info and sentence only mode. Go to settings, set polling period to 500 milliseconds and enable shared memory support. I once enabled shared memory support in my family too. Now I get weekly updates from my dad. Throw the window. At night. In RTSS enable on screen display support. Set rendering mode to raster 3D and choose your favorite font and size. Go to setup under general, set the refresh period to 100 milliseconds and adjust frame rate averaging interval if needed. I use 2.5 to 5 seconds. In plugins check overlay editor.dll and double click it to launch overlay editor. In data sources set sensors from hardware info such as GPU power, GPU clock, GPU low, GPU temp, GPU core voltage and any others you want. Most importantly, frame rate presented average and frame rate presented 0.1. This is your real FPS and 1% low from lossless scaling. Use formatting like %0.1F for cleaner numbers. Memory clocks might need manual formulas. On my GDDR6X card I use X times 8 to show the actual effective frequency. If you added sensors from a second GPU, add a number like 1 or 2 after the sensor name. For example, GPU core voltage 2. This custom name lets you reference it when adding overlay layers. Start building. Add a background layer for readability. Clear the default text, enable use custom background color and set it to black with 50 to 90% opacity. To display FPS, add new layers and use for in-game FPS and for 1% lows, both from RTSS. For hardware and for sensors, wrap sensor name and double percent signs like percent GPU power percent. Use percent GPU percent and percent CPU short percent to display GPU CPU names. Add more layers however you want. It's all up to your creativity. When you are done, save a layout. To duplicate blocks, like CPU stats or second GPU, go to layouts, merge and load the saved file. This is a short tutorial, feel free to ask questions in the comments.